Big news, Copilot for SSMS is now in public preview. I just got it working. So in this video, I will show you exactly how to set it up so you can start using it today. Hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Cody. I'm a data scientist in the Seattle area. I'm here to help you work faster and smarter with tools like SQL, Copilot, and more. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you have the latest version of SSMS. Uh, go download SSMS on this page, link in the description. When you get to the installation page, it will look something like this, where you have an AI assistant, make sure this box is checked, and then proceed the installation. When it's done, click on launch. And once the program is open, it will ask you to enter your SQL Server credentials. Once you put that in, voila, you will see Welcome to Copilot in SQL Server Management Studio. In this page, it's going to ask you for three things, your Azure Open AI endpoint, your deployment name, as well as your Open API key. Now I will walk you through on how to get all three of these. Now let's go to the Azure portal. From here, we want to go to Open AI. In this page, we want to create a new Open AI resource. So pick the uh, resource group and then give a name to this particular instance. I'm going to change the region to US West. And I'm going to pick standard pricing. standard networking and lastly I'm going to hit submit the resource are getting created give it a minute and looks like it's now done let's go check it out clicking on go to resource it takes me directly to my new OpenAI instance called CESSMS Copilot. On this page, I can click on Resource Management, Key and Endpoint. Here, I will find my key as well as my endpoint. Let's go back to Overview click on AI Foundry Portal. Once the page is loaded, uh, chat with Foundry agent, another AI agent. Now, if this is your first time, you will get this message. Uh, go ahead and click on Close. Go down to Deployments. Click on Deploy Model, and then Deploy Base Model. In the search box, type in GPT-40. According to documentations, GTP-40 is the only model currently being supported. Click Confirm. And here you can hit deploy. If you really want, you can change the name from GTP-40 to something else, but I'm gonna keep it the same name. Now that we are done with the deployment, we can go back to SSMS to put in the three requirements. We have the OpenAI endpoint, the deployment name, which is just GTP-40, and then the API key, all of those informations are now something that we have. Click Launch. It looks like Copilot for SSMS is available. I'm going to put in a simple prompt. Voila, it's responding. Very nice. Now, I'm wondering if Copilot is able to access my database. 
so I have the Eventual Works LT. I believe this is the 2024 version. It doesn't matter. Uh, I want to see if Copilot is able to access the content. Let me put in a prompt to ask how many rows there are for a particular table. It doesn't look like it has access. So let me do some research and come back and see what I can do here. After doing some quick research, I was able to get SSMS to uh, work with my data set. So all I had to do was to uh, relaunch SSMS, connect to my database, do a very simple top 100 select query on a table. And once I get the query table and the results show up, I now go click on Copilot on the top. On the right hand side, you can see it's connected to my database. And here I'm asking Copilot a simple, very question, a simple question, how many rows are there in this table? And it comes back with 45, oops, I mean 450. And now I'm gonna run my own verifications and it has 450. So this is pretty amazing. I, I am impressed um, having Copilot uh, within SSMS uh, it is a very helpful feature. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. And uh, if you like this content, uh, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good one. Take care.